is Rose with the Chandler's Rose and this is my first video in probably a good six maybe seven months I'm not sure but today's topic is coffee Ooh, not the drinkable kind the fragrance kind this so let's discuss coffee because a lot of people have their coffee that goes over like gangbusters other people can't move it to save their darling lives even if they were to sell it in front of a Starbucks so let's discuss coffee fragrances, the emotions that they invoke, evoke, and then also what you can blend with it. Okay. So, um, first and foremost, let's just go ahead and address, yes, my, I have this one because I'm going to be creating fragrances for another company. And even when I'm not soaping, when I'm just creating fragrances, hair can fall into your formulation. So I always tie my hair up. So let's talk about coffee. All coffee fragrances are not created equal. And there are a lot of different ones out there. So, for instance, this coffee house from Bramble, uh, excuse me, um, Rustic Essentials, you can barely use, like, if you're making a seven pound batch of soap, you can't even use half an ounce of this. It's like a very, very small amount. So, people normally don't use it. I still say use it but prop it up with other fragrances that will assist in the coffee experience okay so which ones could you do you could do um chocolate espresso by brambleberry no this is not their label i had a five pound bag that i needed to go ahead and break down so this one is chocolate espresso by brambleberry and it has a definite dark dark chocolate, rich chocolate, but it's overwhelmingly smelling of Tootsie Rolls. If you do not like the smell of Tootsie Rolls, you're probably not going to want to use this on its own. But you can have a formulation that is, in order to be able to use this because, so for every 16 ounces of this, you would have to put in seven milliliters of this um, in order to keep the um, <coughs> excuse me to keep the to stay within guidelines for the uh, safe skin usage ratio for this. So you might say, well, that's that's not a not that's not a lot. That's a waste. Actually, it's not. The coffee house fragrance in of itself. I actually tested this out. You could put one drop of this to eight ounces of Epsom salt. Stir, 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 and it's gonna overwhelmingly smell like coffee. So, to be honest with you, using this as the least amount of your formulation is actually pretty smart. And I would highly recommend using this, um, if you're using this for topical products, I would highly recommend master blending this with another fragrance. If you don't like the Tootsie Roll smell, you can always use the white chocolate with um, Crafter's Choice. Now this one here, I absolutely love. I use it only in one formulation. Oh my god. Okay, so it does, if you've ever eaten the white chocolate peanut, no, excuse me, the white chocolate M&M's, this tastes like the smell of the white chocolate M&M's. But there's also a spicy under like a spicy base note. I want to say of some kind of baking spice. Oh my gosh, but it's so good and it's so wonderful. But if you say, oh my gosh, well, you know, Crafter's Choice is a little too expensive for me. No problem. You can use the vanilla macadamia nut from Lone Star. Okay, vanilla macadamia nut. Oh gosh, I still love this. I love it. And it's not even open and you can smell it. So it's not a heavy coffee and it's not a heavy vanilla, but there is definitely something other in there that again, you can pair with your coffee house to make a coffee fragrance, a very strong coffee fragrance. Now, for those of you who may say, okay, well, you know, I don't want to do something, you know, sweet all the time. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say use Moroccan mint from Brambleberry, if any of you all still have this. This is not like a straight peppermint or spearmint or even a mint mint. This is, 
definitely a mint. But it's, the best way I can put it is it's airy. It's like if somebody blew or just put out a puff of, of mint or peppermint. And then there's this cooling, like first wind of spring type current going through that puff. of I, I cannot, for the life of me, explain it. But this here, paired with this, you're onto something. So if you say, well, you know, um, do you have another chocolate? This is my go-to chocolate. This is from the chemistry store. And if you say, oh, you know, I don't want to pay the shipping from the chemistry store, buy it from Liebermuth. Just make sure you have $500 worth of product. If you don't have $500 worth of product, then shut up and buy the chocolate indulgence. This is a dark chocolate. This is... It's a medium chocolate. I would say it's a 60 to 70% cacao. No undertones of Play-Doh whatsoever. It is absolutely, in my opinion, a perfect chocolate. So if you say, well, I have, I want coffee, but I want more of a biscotti fragrance. Some people say, oh, well, just go with almond then, because that's what it is. Almond, almondine, don't do that. Almond will superheat your soaps, unless you're doing um, hot process or unless you're doing melt and pour. Almond will superheat your soaps, and you'll end up with a, a tunnel in your soap from where it is superheated, overheated. If you want a good cookie, doughy, bready fragrance, I would say go with apple s'mores. To me, it smells like graham crackers. Oh gosh. But it's got a, a floral green apple sm um, smell to it. And you might say, floral green apple? That doesn't smell like coffee. I promise you, honey. You put these two together. It's, it's going to, that floral green apple is going to be there. It just won't be as noticeable. If that doesn't do it for you, then you can always do pie crust from uh, Rustic Essentials. Now, I just want to advise you. Their oils do this at times. And you're just like, that's not the same oil. It actually is. I don't know if it's oxidization in the, um, in the drum when it's getting shipped to them or how long this has sat on the shelf versus this. But a lot of their oils of the same type will change colors on you. So just be warned of that. But Pie Crust, again, is a good fragrance to use. It does have that almondine, or actually that cookie smell of the biscotti without having to run the risk of it superheating and causing like uh, fragrance oil tunnels through your soap. The next one is Caramel Cafe. This is a very light soap um, fragrance that you can use with anything. If you're going to soap with it, I would definitely say, if you're going to combine it with the coffee soap, um, this one has more of a spice note of a old style German gingerbread cookie. It doesn't really have a caramel smell. It has more of a, a sweet anise. And a sweet anise with a very soft cinnamon. So you can put these two together, of course. Um, they will go fine. And then if, and if you like, well, I want some chocolate with that, you can add chocolate. And I'm just going to say this right here. With chocolate, you cannot go wrong with adding a sweet orange essential oil or a sweet orange fragrance oil. The same thing with coffee. You cannot go wrong with adding a sweet orange essential oil or a sweet orange fragrance oil. You, you just can't. You won't. It'll be, it'll be fine. Okay. Um, some of you all, I've, I've only used Indigo for their... Pink Magnolia Blossom, which they no longer carry anymore. I'm just pissed about that. Anyway. This one's called Creamy White Chocolate. Now, to me... To me... It smells chemically. It's as if the... It's the chemical Tootsie Roll smell without the Tootsie. If you, if you get my drift. But... 
for those who say, well, Crafter's Choice is too expensive for their white chocolate, you can try Indigo. If there's another one out there, that's fine too. The next one is the Salted Caramel Liqueur that was given out at the Rustic Essentials open house. And this one really does smell like a liqueur. And it does smell like um, caramel, but it's a light, it's not a cloying fragrance. It's actually pretty light. And I would definitely say soak this on its own, but you can also soap it with the coffee. And then the last one I'm going to show you is this one's called Random Coffee House Guy. And I actually got this one in a D stash. Oh my god. Now this here, this here is the same as, co well, this one has a cleaner, lighter, not so bitter, but, and it has a higher usage rate. So for those of you who are worried about that, it has a higher usage rate than the, um, than the Rustic Essentials one. But anyway, so these are just some fragrances for the coffees that you can blend together in order to make another coffee fragrance. If, and again, you can always blend coffee with a sweet orange. You can either use sweet orange essential oil or fresh orange um, fragrance oil. You can always use coconut cream, coconut, Turkish mocha, Moroccan mint. Um, heck, you can even add raspberry in there. You can do a white chocolate raspberry mocha. Excuse me, y'all. I've been doing keto and my body's just not having it. I'm sleepy as a mug. I don't know where they're talking about. Oh, you have so much energy. No, I don't. I'm tired as a mug. Anyway, um, with your coffee, you can always add anything sweet to the coffee. And it's going to turn out right. If you want to change up the coffee, you can also add Blue Man. Blue Man is sold by Brambleberry and Crafter's Choice. It has enough of a, a nutmeg, spicy undertone that it will work with the coffee, okay? So again, these are just my suggestions of what you can add to coffee to get a different coffee fragrance, to not be stuck, and try it out. As I always tell people, whenever you're about to fragrance blend, have some Epsom salt, a stir stick, pipettes, paper and pencil, and, and create. Write out your first impressions, write out how many drops you put in, and stir it up after one drop stir 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 second drop stir 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 it doesn't matter if it's the same fragrance or when you're doing multiple drops stir it up because as it's stirring the fragrance is wafting towards your nose and you'll catch when you're at the right amount rather than just oh I'm put five drops in ooh this is too strong when you could have known as uh, drop three that three drops was enough so anyway that's all I've got for today um, or at least for this video I probably will shoot another one later it's overcast outside and it's very autumnal, which I love because I don't do heat and I don't do bugs. But anyway, um, I've got a, oh, and I'm going to just say this real quick. Yesterday afternoon, we had the very first South Carolina Soapers meetup or Bath and Body meetup and it was great. I had fun. We talked, we laughed. We didn't do a whole lot of planning for 2020, but there's another one. I think it's called Turkey Weekend. Uh, it's the Thursday before Thanksgiving in Bluffton. A few more of us are going to try to meet up and just have some fun and get to know each other. So um, more things to come, more videos to come, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.